Hello farmers, welcome back to Wither Farms. Mid spring is here, the grass is growing really good. This is the first grass field that we have. It's tall enough to where I could actually cut it and make some silage out of it. But we're gonna wait until the other grass field is ready as well. The grass is growing over there too. I need to get to these this afternoon, spread some lime and fertilizer on both of them. If I just trot on over here, we can see the grass is growing over here, lovely. I think even though this, this field over here is a little bit behind the one I was just in, when I cut one, I'm going to cut them both. That way, when midsummer comes, they'll be on the same cycle. You can see the grass is not quite as tall in the field as it was where the grass already was. So it took a little while to germinate, but it is growing. It's going to be very good to get these fields cut together at the same time and get them in the same sequence. But this afternoon, I do want to get some lime and fertilizer spread. But first things first, the TA is already over at the field. The drill is all set, ready to rock and roll. It is time to plant our wheat. So we still have the same drill as we did in the grass field. So I went on over to the store yesterday afternoon after we got the grass field done. Uh, got, got this filled up with some seed, went over and talked to Sally's for a little bit. Uh, got the T8 filled up with some diesel fuel. I did not repair it. I just want to make sure I got enough cash to go around to make sure I can get this field planted. And we're putting wheat in here because I plan to maybe at some time late this fall to get some chickens up and running on the farm. And of course, they're going to need some feed and that's why we're going to go ahead and do some wheat. At least that's, that's the whole idea of the whole thing. So this morning's job is just to get this field planted and then the afternoon hopefully get over to the grass field. The weather should be good all day long. So it should be just like a cloudy day, overcast. But we'll get the this field planted and then head over to the grass field, get some lime and fertilizer spread on all that. Um, gonna spend a lot of money on fertilizer today because this field obviously is gonna need it as well. And the grass field, obviously I gotta get that taken care of because it won't be long before that grass is ready to cut. I'm actually surprised the grass is growing as quick as it is. We're only in mid-April and that grass in that first field is ready to be cut. Um, it's on the low stage of being ready to cut, so we're going to wait until the grass grows to its full height and give the other field a little chance to catch up to it. And that way we'll get the most that we can out of the two fields, which will be a good payday for us. And speaking of payday, when I do get paid, yeah, I'm going to maybe purchase, like I said, a baling trailer. So we can move the bales around now that we got our baler. Uh, the wrapper, I will probably just lease that. Uh, but the bailing trailer is more expensive than I thought. I thought the bailing trailer was going to be like 20 grand. It ended up being, it's, it's, it's pretty expensive. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll strike up a deal with the store. Who knows? Let's see see how it goes. Just see how it goes. I don't really have the cash to do so. I may actually have to lease the bailing trailer to sell the silage bales and then be able to buy it. Or maybe the store let me possibly, I don't know, uh, loan it just loan it for the day and then pay for it by the end of the day when we get paid for the VGA. I don't know. It's a couple days off. We'll see how it goes. But as for today, yep, just going to go ahead and plant the wheat in. Um, when I was at the store the other day as well and I was talking to Sally, I just asked if she heard anything about the uh, Sherman Douglas, Mr. Withers situation. And I kind of told her that, you know, I called them on up and the phone number has been disconnected. So she's unsure. As for Mr. Who, no one knows where he is as well. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I haven't been over to the farm, Mr. Who's farm. Uh, I was over there not long ago, but all the crops were withered. And it looks like no one's been there for a while. So I'm not too sure what's going on there either. So I think um, for now, I think I'm just gonna focus on my own fields. I, I cannot get jobs anywhere either. Uh, just asking around and everyone seems like everyone's got everything taken care of so just going to focus on our fields for this season it looks like so hopefully the money comes in rather good because yeah i'm not gonna be able to get a job i don't think but anyways let's get to planting this field and like i said uh hopefully by the afternoon hours i got enough cash left over to go ahead and put some lime and fertilizer down feeling pretty good about getting this field planted already early in the season can't wait to go ahead and harvest it and get some cash from the straw because well, on the upper hand corner you may see that my money situation has changed so when I was doing the headland around here I was trying to calculate how much seed I was going to need 
and I called the store and originally I wanted five bags a piece of seed, lime, and fertilizer. And then when I got the total, I'm like, yeah, I can't quite afford that. So I cut back on a couple of things and well, we're now under 2,000 pounds left in my bank account, which kind of hurts. Um, I overestimated how much seed I needed. So I still got two more bags of seed back at the farm and what I got left here in the drill. I'll have to go back to the farm, unload the drill and wash off before I go up to the store and because this is the least drill. And while I'm there, I'm picking up the crop sensor because the new field that we got, I got to go ahead and do some crop sensing in that so I can put down the correct amount of lime and fertilizer. Uh, the store was kind enough to bring all the bags down to the farm and they're piled up nicely against the shed that we have. So I don't have to do too much running around, but yeah, money-wise it's gonna hurt because when it comes time to cut the grass and do silage, I gotta lease the windrower, um, the wrapper, and of course I gotta come up with something if either I'm gonna buy the bailing trailer or I'm just gonna lease it this time around. I'm not too sure yet. But yeah, money situation, it kinda it's kinda hurting. Um, I did have an idea though. I could go to the owner of the BGA because you know, we were bringing our, our, our silage bales there to be processed and there's probably some digestate there. Maybe they're looking to maybe have someone transport the digestate to sell it so maybe I can get a job there. Now it's not going to be enough to pay for leasing fees for all the stuff I need when I go ahead and cut the grass but it will be something to get me through because like I said I'm down. The cash is down <laughs> quite a bit uh, from where I was. Originally I didn't think it was going to cost that much but it is what it is and I definitely got the first thing I'm going to take care of make sure that the grass fields are lined and fertilized and any extra fertilizer I got I will come over here and fertilize this um, because obviously we'll be harvesting the grass sooner than this wheat over here the one thing I do have to take into consideration once the crops over here get high enough uh, grow tall enough I can't drive into it because I don't have any row crop tires so I'll crush the crops so I got to be kind of careful about that, I suppose. I mean, it is what it is. Got to do what you got to do. But we're just about done here. So I got enough seed left over. I could sell the seed back to the store, but I think I'll take a hit on it. Obviously, they're not going to give you a full refund on the seed bags. So I might as well just keep the seed bags and have them ready to go for next season. Yeah, for some reason, I overcalculated how much seed I needed, but that's... That's not that big of a deal. Seed bags were not, I mean, they're like 900 bucks, or sorry, 900 pounds per bag. And I got like two more bags left at the shop. So our wheat field is done. Okay, now it's done. Let's go ahead and fold this up. Head to the farm, we'll wash this off, uh, unload the seed that's in it because that is ours. Head on up to the store. We'll grab the crop sensor so I can go over to the grass field and do some crop sensing so we can get that all taken care of. Start spreading some lime and fertilizer down on the grass fields. That drill comes in very handy. Although I will say for that field that I just seeded, it's maybe just a little bit undersized, but not too bad. It still took me about an hour and 10 minutes or so to do that field, which is not too bad really. And not like I could probably go any bigger with a drill just because, well, I don't think this T8 could handle a bigger drill. All right, let's go ahead and raise up the crop sensor and let's go ahead and get our new field sensitized I guess I don't know if that's the correct terminology for it but sounds good I am thinking while we have this I might do the other grass field as well uh, it's been a few years so maybe a good idea to get it sensed again um, I'm not sure if I really have to on a grass field but we'll, we'll give it a go just, just to be sure on things maybe to help us on out But this field over here on the left, this grass field, is a little bit bigger than it, than you think it is. At least, what I think it is. I always say, I always keep thinking that eh, it's not that big. Then when you start working in it, I always have that problem with fields. It doesn't look that big. Then you start doing some work in the field. 
and it's a lot bigger than what you than what it looks. All right, probably should hook up the hydraulic closes to it so I can unfold it. That always works out well. Now it's just a matter of driving around the field and hopefully I can get a good idea of roughly how uh, this is going to go. I wonder if I bring up that map there. Is that going to help me or not? So is that working or not here? Let's go in and here. Do I need to lower it? Aha, so it needs to be lowered. Okay, so I had it raised. All right, let me back up and get the section that I missed. All right, so I'll keep my eye on the computer screen in the bottom left-hand corner to make sure I get get the field correctly where I need it to be. That way I'll make sure I get every little square inch of this field. All right, so wait a minute. Oh. Well, this is going to kind of suck because I can't put it on the front of my tractor. Are you going to tell me I got, I got to back up in order for... I got to... This has got, got to be on the front of a tractor to work? So in other words, I can't... That just seems weird. Yeah, so if I drive forward... If it's on the back of a tractor and I drive forward, it doesn't sense. So this needs to go on the front of a tractor. So it's sensing... It can only sense one way. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Because um, I don't have a front hookage on the tractor. So, I got to do this all backwards. And there we go. Now it's now it's working. Um, well, if this doesn't give me a stiff neck by the end of the day, uh, I'll be shot. Uh, let me go ahead and get this done. This is going to look kind of weird. Uh, it looks like I'm, I'm working in reverse, which sometimes I feel like I am. Uh, but it looks like to start the uh, mid-morning here, I am working backwards. Well, at least the one thing this is allowing me to do, it's allowing me to brush up on my backing up skills a little bit by having driving around the field backwards for the past five minutes or so. And I get to do it in the other grass field as well. Just want to make sure while we have this, I mean, it wasn't that much to lease this piece of equipment anyways. But while we have it, I might as well go ahead and get the fields done. Um, originally, I was also thinking, before I started, when I said I'm going to do the other grass field, I was thinking, Jesus, should I do the uh, the wheat field? Um, I'm not sure I want to drive that much backwards uh, in a field. All right, so this field is all set. Let's go ahead and get the other grass field done. Like I said, that shouldn't take too long. It's about... Uh, half the size of this one. This seems kind of weird that I have to drive backwards for the crop sensor to work. Maybe it's because the waves of the sensor go outward. So it only goes one direction. So if it's on the front of the tractor, it's easier because waves are going that way. But since I got to put in the back of the tractor, that's why I got to drive backwards. If they do the waves the other way, Maybe the tractor interferes with the wavelengths to figure out the crop soil. I'm not too sure. Not too sure at all. Uh, but now we're over here. Let's go ahead and pop this on. Now this field did not need it currently, but I'm pretty sure in a couple more uh, cuts, then maybe the data would be outdated. And then I'd be doing the same thing over again, so that's why we're doing it. Like I said, it's not going to take me too long to do this. And I will leave the crop sensor here at the farm, but what I want to do after I do this is definitely get the lime and fertilizer down the grass fields. 
And if I feel like um, I'm up to it this afternoon, I'll go over to the wheat field and do some crop sensing on that field as well. It'd be kind of interesting driving backwards. I wonder how long that would take me to do the wheat field driving backwards. Probably a long time. I don't know, is that, is it, it, it should be harmful to the tractor to drive backwards for this length of a time, but this is something that uh, you didn't think you would have to do. Just a couple more spots that I missed and definitely need to take a break from backing up through the fields for a while. So let's go drop this off and pick up our spreader, fill it up with some lime. Well, unless I pick up the spreader and it has something in it, but um, I think when I last checked, it had nothing in it at all. If anything, just very little. Let's turn off the, P's, uh, the PC screen. We don't need to see what the map is to spread the lime and fertilizer. And I'm just going to drop this off right here is good. Uh, wait, did I lower that down? Uh, let's got to lower that down. Don't need it to be dropping it from a high height. And I'll draw the closes and unload that. Oops, someone parked a trailer in front of the spreader. Who was that? wonder who did that. I think that'd be me. That's why I was saying a little while ago, getting another shed with some bays so I can um, not stack things inside here would be nice. So I mean, I would leave like the combine, the header, maybe the baler and the trailer in this shed along with the tractor and all the small equipment can go out into a shed, smaller shed. Apparently I left the cover open on. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there, but might be a little bit of remnants of something in there, we'll see. Uh, nope, absolutely nothing. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna put down some line. And see, that should be the fertilizer, this should be the lime. I may not have enough lime for everything, so we'll see how this goes. Lime is not that expensive, but when you're short on the dollars, or sorry, the pounds. I mean, I could go back and borrow some more money out of the bank, but I'd rather not do that. Try to stay away from doing that if I can. Slip that up. Alright, now we're going to computer make sure we're on automatic application, which we are. So we should be good to go. Uh, now probably nothing's gonna go here because last winter I did get some lime down this part of the field so it may not require any looks like it required just a little bit here and there I don't remember how far I got in spreading the lime so we'll see see how it looks here shortly We'll make it a little bit harder when I put down the fertilizer to see where I've been, but... So, must be that's where I ran out of the lime last winter. I imagine the other field's going to take a lot of lime. Because who knows when's the last time that has been taken care of. Kind of weird how this application rate's going, but and now it's now it's really taking the lime. So yeah, I didn't spread it here last season. Just want to cut this little angle over here. I probably could get it one more pass, but if I don't, 
the computer will not see a little strip. If I leave a little strip there, it won't see it and it won't spread the lime down. I want to get the max production I can on the first cut because yep, the money is just a little bit tight. And it will be for the rest of the year. But I'm thinking by the end of the season, uh, we'll be doing pretty darn good. Sh loan should be gone. I'm not paying that much per day on loan interest, so it's not that bad. But it'll be nice not to have it either. I am going through a lot of lime all of a sudden, so I may not have enough for the other field. But we get done what we can can get done, that's all we can do. And we are <coughs> out of lime completely. At least in the spreader. Let's go fill it up. I'll finish that field off and then get over to the other grass field and see how far I can get with the last couple bags that I got. Well, not getting too far at all because, like I thought, this field is just eating the line right on up. I got very little back at the far <laughs> farm, actually. The last uh, bag probably only has like a couple hundred um, liters of lime left into it, but... Like I said, we get done what we can get done. Um, every little bit will help the production, at least on the first cut. And maybe after we get the first cut and I get a whole bunch of money from the silage that we're going to sell at the BGA, uh, then maybe we can go ahead and top off these fields the way they need to be topped off. But it's a start. It's a slow start is what we have here. I mean, if I get one third of this field covered in lime, I'll be happy with that. As for the wheat field, I did check it when I was seeding it. I got out once uh, before I came over and topped off the drill with some seed. Um, that field is doing okay on the pH level, which is lime. So that field kind of needs to be done as well. Yep, there we go. So I, I came and get a headland done on lime. I might as well go ahead and uh, top it off. Get rid of all the lime that we do have. That way I just don't have a bag of 200 liters of lime sitting around and have to work my way around it although it's not in the way but at least might as well use it that's what it's sitting there for and I don't want to have to move it inside the shed in case it rains although the seed bags will have to get moved in the only way I can move the bags now, because I don't have a front uh, loader attachment or anything like that, the way I move the stuff around is I get the T8 right up in front of it with the weights in the front and just kind of slowly nudge it along and yeah, I didn't get far at all. Let's just go ahead into the Precision Farming page and kind of see what it kind of looks like here. Um, now the pH value is not that bad. Let's see, where is it? So that's right around there. And that's right around there. And the current state is somewhere. Yeah, it's right around six. So I'm not bringing it up that far. And you can kind of see actually the, uh, the wheat field is actually. Where are you? You're at 6.25 as well. So it's not that far off. It's that we're going through lime quite a bit. And a bigger, uh, a bigger capacity spreader would really be nice to spread lime down. But this is what we have, and this is what we're going to use. All right, let's see how far we can get with the fertilizer. Now, I'm going to do the field over there first, because that grass will be the tallest when we harvest it. So I want to make sure we're good and ready to go. Hopefully, I don't eat through this fertilizer as fast, but I got a funny feeling that we might. Fertilizer is expensive. Uh, 
All right, let's see how much we can get done with the fertilizer that we do have. That's why I want to put the lime down first. When I spread the fertilizer, it's kind of easy to see where I've been at. Alright, so this so far is not looking that bad and eating up the fertilizer. Uh, the good thing is I did fertilize the other grass field last year for the other farmers before we bought it. So, but I'm pretty sure the crops did use up some of the nitrogen. If I can get both grass fields done with the amount of fertilizer I have, I'll be very, very happy. And any extra, extra I got left over today, I'll go over to the wheat field and get, get that down. But definitely got to take care of the grass fields because that harvest on these is going to come a lot quicker than the wheat field. Okay, so looking at it, am I going to get both grass fields done completely? I'm going to say no. But we'll see how far we can get. Well, that's one field done. Let's go top off of what we have left. So, yeah, I spent just about 15 grand this morning in seed, lime, and fertilizer. And I used all the lime. I'm going to use all of the fertilizer. I do have seed left, but like I said, I'll use that next season. It's not like it's going to go to waste. Let's have to pile it into the shed for now. I do have a decent amount of fertilizer here, so we'll get some of this field done. So the first harvest may not be as well as I was hoping because this field won't be fully, fully grown when we cut it. Um, the nitrogen level's not that, sorry, the pH level's not that far off. The nitrogen level may be off quite a bit. I'm hoping we get this, I'm hoping for like two-thirds of the field done with nitrogen. Like how the uh, tractor is turning almost like a complete white from all the lime dust. I would say I'm going to be pleased with what we're getting done. Just about out of fertilizer and... Yeah, I'm going to say about two-thirds, maybe a little bit more than two-thirds of the field will be done. So, I'm going to be happy with that. See how it yields here in a couple of days. And then we'll repeat with the fertilizer and hopefully have enough to buy some lime here. Lime and fertilizer. I keep wanting to stretch the last few liters of fertilizer that I have. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and check the map now and see what the nitrogen level looks like. So that's not too bad. That's more than two-thirds of the field done. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, definitely got to make sure we get the wheat field done as well. So I'm thinking after we harvest these fields, probably get the fertilizer down in the wheat field first before that grows too tall. And uh, I'll damage the crops going in with this tractor here. Grass fields may have to be neglected maybe once, hopefully not, but who knows, um, who knows what the next couple days will bring. Uh, like I said, I'm going to talk to the BGA owner and see if the, um, what they're going to do with that, that digestate, see if they want to sell it and I can get a job for a day transporting some of that if I can get. I don't, I don't expect to get paid extremely well to buy more fertilizer, but um, I'll have to actually want to save some money to do the leasing which I don't have enough for that either, so probably have to actually borrow some money out of the bank account, which I did not want to do, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, right now, I just gotta go ahead and put some of this stuff away. Um, boy, I'm actually thinking about going over... Um, 
and uh, get the crop sensing done in the wheat field. Although driving backwards all day is not my favorite. But I mean, I got this for the rest of the day. Might as well make some use of it.